We are very, very pleased and honored to be Maine's 2016 Food Producer of the Year. And we thought we'd tell you a little bit about our family business. The reason that Ray's Mustard is located here in Eastport, Maine, is because at the turn of the last century, Eastport was literally the sardine capital of America. Uh, and we had 20 odd sardine canneries here on this little island. And my great great uncle decided to build a mustard mill because mustard was the favorite medium in which to pack sardines. It, it helped preserve the sardines and also enhance the flavor. So he decided to make mustard here. Um, with the passage of 116 years since the business started, ironically, the sardine industry is now gone. There's not a single sardine cannery left in the entire state of Maine. But Ray's mustard endures, and that is because uh, our family uh, decided that we needed to change with the times and with customer tastes and preferences. And now, instead of making the sardine mustard, uh, we make uh, 25 specialty and gourmet mustards of uh, many flavors. So with the end of the sardine industry, we had to figure out how to keep the company going. And we could foresee the growth in the specialty food sector, people willing to spend a little extra money for a quality premium product, and that's exactly what Ray's Mustard is. So we started doing gourmet and specialty flavors. number of people who will see our phone number on the top of this jar uh, or see our website and literally call us up and leave us a message or, or email us to tell us how great the product is. It's really cool. It's just sort of, you know, something that happens and it happens a lot. Uh, which yeah, is they, really surprising. they call the 800 number or they email us or they send messages on our Facebook or uh, TripAdvisor. It's kind of fun to read them. Yes, we were thrilled to be um, singled out by Google as the one company in Maine featured in their Google Economic Impact Report. Um, and they recognized us for our social media work and our website and uh, how we use Google Analytics to figure out who's coming to our website and who our customers are. Um, so that was a, a really proud moment for us and our, for our employees to be featured that way. Here. Uh, I was born and brought up in this area. Karen's uh, mother is actually from Eastport, so she has roots here as well. And it's a place that means a lot to both of us. And so when I left my employment with Olympia Snow back in 2001 and we moved back to Maine, we made a point to move all the way here uh, to the Eastport Perry area so that we could be part of this community and uh, do something to help an area of Maine that really needs uh, help economically and otherwise. So we've both uh, been very active in the community, serving on boards and uh, serving in public office um, as a way to, to give back and to Kevin, help. Kevin was served uh, four terms in the Maine State Senate, the last term as Maine Senate President. Um, and very Karen, proud is, of that Karen is chairman of the Board of Selectmen in Perry and has served there for seven years and on the school board before that. And Kevin's on the uh, nursing home board. Karen's on the, the grocers and food producers board. Yes, so we I keep am. Busy. I want to thank the, the Maine Grocers and Food Producers uh, Association for the recognition. It really does mean a lot to us, and we will use it to our advantage and to the association's advantage. The, the one thing I would like to mention is just that uh, uh, one thing we're very excited about is that we have uh, on the drawing board plans to secure the future of this uh, little mustard mill here in Eastport. Uh, and we hope to build a new facility here, uh, a facility actually that would encompass the existing mill. The mill that's running behind us right here now is sort of sacrosanct to us and to our family, to the community. We want to preserve it for future generations while modernizing uh, and increasing our retail space and our warehouse space, but maintaining the integrity and the authenticity of the process. But which mustard best describes each of you? Well, I'll answer first, and uh, Karen is sweet and spicy, no question Aww. about it. And Kevin's top dog. Aww. <laughs> Aww. 